come back. Have you ever asked yourself the question, whatever happened to Vivi and Sabo in the Riviera arc? Well, we have the answer for you right after this intro. All right, welcome back. So uh, as Dee mentioned, we are going to do a discussion of what may have happened to Vivi and Sabo in Marijua. So yeah, just to start off um, with Vivi, I think Vivi was killed right before the elders, like the five elders, they saw Imu. They mentioned that the Nefertari family was the only family of the first 20 who stayed in the lower world 800 years ago. And according to some research that I did, apparently that's when the 100 year void took place about 800 to 900 years ago. So I think like the fact knowing like them saying that implies that they have they know something about the 100 year void, which is like a threat to the world government. Um, so given that and given that um, Emu had like a poster of Evie like before he he was sent to, to go see the, the five elders. That makes me believe that because they think that this family is like a threat to them, something must have happened to Cobra or Vivi in that like they were killed because they're a threat to the world government. It's a good point. Good point. All right. Well, I am going to contradict that because I think that Vivi is kept alive, but just it seems that she's killed. So let me let me explain so here's why i think that they're lying about vivi's death so i believe that emu wants to marry vivi <laughs> what? so i believe that vivi is still alive i believe that emu is keeping her alive for a particular reason he intends to marry her, and let me explain why. We saw a foreshadowing when Vivi was talking to Cobra on her way to Reverie. And we also see her on the cover of a certain manga page where she is being prepared for marriage by some cats, oddly enough. So why would Emu want to marry Vivi. So I believe that is because she is the reincarnation of the princess of Alabasta that was alive during the Void Era, same as Emu. Emu is a name derived from Imhotep. So Imhotep was a famous Egyptian priest. And I think that Oda took inspiration for his character this way. And guess who? Imhotep's wife was named. So, Imhotep's wife was named Rumpet Neferet, which is close to Nefotari, meaning that most likely Imu is connected to Alabasta in some way. Maybe that's where he comes from. And he wants to marry the reincarnation of the princess of Alabasta for obvious reasons. But how would he do this? Like, Vivi is uh, still alive and Emu is an unbeknownst to the public. If he fabricates a lie that she was killed in a reverie, then she can go on and live with him for an eternity without anyone knowing at all, no one suspecting a single thing. The only people that the world believes are in control of the world government are the five nobles. The five nobles are under Emu. So Emu and Vivi will rule in the shadows for eternity. That's why I think Vivi is still alive. That's interesting. That's really interesting. Yeah, me, I completely saw it some other way. So I thought that the posters that he was looking at were the fire that he was to extinguish. Like when the others asked him, like, which light will you extinguish 
this time. So I thought that's what he, why he was looking at the posters. He was just deciding like which person will uh, will be killed. And the reason I thought that is because like how some of the posters of like Goofy or like Shiroshi and Blackbeard, like they were all ripped up very aggressively. So that's why I thought it was like who was going to be killed next. Yeah, I think that he held multiple pictures. I think he was. Holding a picture of Vivi, there was also like other pictures as well. I think there was like discussion about how certain figures like Luffy is like the reincarnation of Joy Boy. And also another reason why I think that Vivi was killed was because the elders mentioned that when they were talking about how the Nifutari family was like there 800 years ago, another one of them also said like, in a sense, they're betrayers. And they said, has Emu noticed something? So that's why like, if they're like betrayers and like in terms of like something with the 100 year void, that's why I was thinking like maybe like they were killed. What do you think happened to Cobra, though? If in terms of your theory with the marriage and everything, maybe Cobra was killed. So like that, like he didn't have, he wouldn't say anything in terms of like the marriage between Emu and uh, and Vivi. What do you oh, think? This, yeah, he. It's likely that he'd be dead, honestly, because obviously he is. He's not supposed to leave her out of his sight and such. And I think, yeah, I think he may be killed as well. Yeah, and the reason I also thought that she was killed is because of the reaction of the people of Alabasta. You know, like it, they reacted in a way that it's like something tragic happened. But if your theory is correct and like they would pronounce her dead so that he can marry her in secrecy, right? Because Emo is unknown to the world and everything, then probably the world government or like someone who knows this would make fake news. And so the people who of Alabasta would like see that she is dead. So that kind of works. Yeah. You know, I think for, for my theory, I think it makes sense if Oda took inspiration from, I believe it's like the 1932 Mummy movie where like Emotep tries to reincarnate a reincarnation of his former love that he wants to make his bride. So um, for me, like an, a reason I would think that they're not dead is that maybe like the people reacted to the news maybe simply because Cobra and like Vivi are captured and so now there's no like king in the kingdom to keep the country safe and so like now they're vulnerable so which is why they would react the way that they did but otherwise I think that Vivi was killed or Cobra. Okay. So guys if you have your own theories leave them in the comments down below but right now we will move on to our theories on what happened to Sabo. I think that Sabo was because it wouldn't make sense to recycle this Paramount War arc with Ace and everything because like Luffy already went through so much with what happened to Ace so I don't think it would make sense for Oda to recycle the same ideas. I believe that he's not dead. I didn't find much information on this one but I think that he wouldn't kill another one of Luffy's brothers I feel like in some way, this is sort of a way to sort of like build up suspense because I believe that most of the individuals of the revolutionaries have unique abilities. I, I believe he's not dead. And I think that he's somewhere in hiding because yeah, obviously if, if the revolutionaries are found, they're going to be killed. They're not there. They are complete antagonists to the people, maybe as much as the pirates are to the world government. No, he wouldn't be dead. If he was dead, they would show him dead. The fact that it's announced that he's dead means that he's not dead. Well, Maybe. what if I would have wanted to just show a death in a different way, you know? By not showing him. Spice it up a little bit. That's not proper form. It's not the right way of showing death. He wouldn't kill them like that. It's just not ha that doesn't happen that way. Yeah, and also a reason why I think that he's not dead is the way Ivankov reacted to the news. Like, the way she reacted to the news was not like in a sad kind of way, but more like in an angry, confused, or frustrated way. Mateo, don't 
どういうこっちゃべるあの設計よ鳥社長が書いたデタラメだわあのサボよありえなってぶる信じない Which suggests that maybe Sabo was defeated and she's not used to like he or she. I don't know if he's female or male. Like, I think couldn't believe, like, how could he be defeated, sort of thing. So that's why I think the way she reacted to the news suggests that he's still alive. In regards to why I think he is dead, is that do you remember Don Don? I don't remember actually. It's the, it's like the woman with the orange hair who took care of Luffy, Sabo, and、uh, Ace. Yeah. So if you look at the, the clip, which we will show right here. <laughs> so basically, when the news reached her, she said, I just found out that he was alive. He was alive, which suggests that he is presently dead. I guess. She's using a past tense, so that means that the news suggests that he's dead. Although it could be not true, right? Because of Morgan's like, not being honest all the time. What do you think? It's whatever sells the story, I guess. And the thing is that the world government could be paying off the Morgans to tell the story that they themselves want to be told.、And、it's not something. That a completely original idea is, comes from real life as well. Media is influenced by whatever attracts the viewer. It's possible that they want the world to not know that they exist for some reason. I think we still have much to learn about the fate of these two and maybe the fate of all the others as well. We haven't yet seen any episodes or any manga pages yet. Explaining this, so we'll have to update this in the future. Yeah, and as right, Luffy、no. is in the Wano country, he's not seeing any of this because the Wano country is completely closed off. So, all right, guys, so that's the end of the episode. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. And we will see you next time. Guys, it's D. My first reaction to the episode 1000.